assure His Excellency, the President Commander in Chief, the Nigerian Army, I'm handing over today under the leadership of Major General T. Lagwaja, will remain professional in this charge of his constitutional responsibilities and will remain ready to deliver and accomplish any and indeed any and all aside tasks in line with. I always say that I'm very pleased and privileged to command this army. And I said that there is no task will give to the army that I will see, but there is no job they will give this army with you that we cannot deliver. And we have delivered in operations, in our other activities, and in everything. A period of insecurity that was characterized as volatile, uncertain, and complex. I'm pleased to state and report that we, we all, with you all, wrote the situation as a team and with the support of the federal government made a remarkable success in the fight against insurgency and other social vices in our country that has today changed the situation for the better. I must say that I'm indeed very impressed and pleased with you all for your commitment and dedication to duty. Through those commitments, jointness and interagency collaboration will have built bridges across the services and the paramilitary and other agencies to confront the security challenges. These efforts have yielded commendable results which are evident for all to see. Indeed, the of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, Grand Commander Order of the Federal Republic, for giving me this privilege to serve as his chief of army staff. There is no doubt that there must have been a raise as it is the aspiration of every combatant Nigerian army officer to one day become the chief of army staff. But today, the Almighty God has made it what it is. Therefore, as you transit into retirement on this glorious moment, sir, I wish to assure you that I shall do everything within my power to improve on your legacy of a proficient, effective, and admirable Nigerian army. That I shall discharge my responsibilities as the chief of army staff with fairness, merit and hard work shall be duly rewarded while appropriate measures taken to bring him bring back in line anyone that has.